Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel, and today I am going to be dressing as characters from Heartstopper, the Netflix series. So, I've done this video twice before. The uh, first time was I dressed as sex education characters, and the second time I dressed as young royals characters. I think I'm going to do two parts for Heartstopper season one because there's so many good characters. Um, so I've got the outfits already planned out and the people that I'm doing in this video, so part one, is going to be Nick Nelson, Charlie Spring, Tori Spring, Isaac Henderson and Sarah Nelson. And then in part two I'll do um, Tara Darcy, El Tao and Imogen. I'm looking at the outfits and I'm like, I'm so happy. So I'm going to go in the order I said. The premise of this video is that I try and make outfits that are either the same or very similar to the ones that they've worn in the show but with my own clothes. So like, I don't go out and buy clothes purposefully to try and look like these characters. I just try and use what I've already got. What I'm going to do as well is before I actually try on um, and show you the outfits I will run through the pieces of clothing that I'm going to be using and talk about the scene that I am getting the outfit inspiration from so we'll get straight on with it because there's not really much else to talk about apart from the fact that I absolutely adore heart stuff if you want to talk about it in the comments feel free yeah I'm gonna start <laughs> Okay, so for Nick Nelson, I'm taking inspiration from two scenes. One scene is he's sat on his bed, he's with Nelly, and he's either he just looked through like Charlie's Instagram or he'd been texting Charlie, he puts one nice out for seeing Nelly. That one. And when he turns up to Charlie's drenched. So we're using the vans. Now I have vans. Um I'm not gonna show you any of the shoes in this bit. I'll just show you the shoes when I'm wearing them because they're all in a different room and I can't be bothered to go and get them all. Um, but I've got a pair of vans, the only thing is they're not plain white on the uh, side because I painted on them, but ignore it and just pretend that they're white, okay? Now, in the scene where he's on his bed with Nelly, he's got kind of this pattern, bit darker colour, but kind of this pattern bottoms, but they're shorts, mine are long, and he's actually got this exact top on because I bought it for that reason, but not just for this video, I just bought it because I really like the top. So it's this light blue vans top i got it on asos the pj bottoms are from where are these from marks and spencers i don't know where any of my pjs are from because i don't buy any of them i get them every christmas i get a new pair every christmas so we've got asos marks and spencers and then because i'm trying to make an outfit that they could go outside in do you know what i mean gray joggers um these are from i should know these are from primark i do know um and then he takes a hoodie off in that scene because he's drenched, you know. Um, it is a blue hoodie. I don't own a blue hoodie, but I might just put this back on with it because this is the matching top for the joggers. And also, it's like a... I feel like Nick Nelson would wear this, right? Michigan State University is not from there, obviously. Neither am I. But So that is Nick Nelson's outfit. I will pass you on to me in the future who is trying the outfit on and talking about it. Okay? Okay. So, I've had to try and get this angle so that you can see what's happening. Um, I'm just going to show you the outfits, okay? So, first is Nick Nelson in bed. So, he had socks on. He was with black, I think, but I'm not taking my socks off and putting a new pair on. These are my bottoms, and this is the Vans top. Do you like? I don't. It's cold. No, I do. I actually really like this. It's cute. Now, I'm going to show you the like more outdoorsy Nick Nelson. Okay, so this is outdoorsy Nick. Oh, I just literally walked into the wall. Got the vans, got the joggers, still got that top on. Um, do we like? It's not like Harry Styles then. If anyone's seen the Harry, the, not Harry Styles, the One Direction movie where they're trying to take a picture of Harry Styles and he's going, that's what I felt like then. But yeah, I mean, I would just wear this anyway. <laughs> it's a comfy outfit, yeah. I did paint, do you see that? Oh, look at me, gymnastics. <laughs> the, uh, the white bar of the vans bit. Yeah, I do you know, I really like this. This is me, this is comfy, warm. I very much like. I'm really far away. <laughs> okay, so next is Charlie Spring. The inspo for his outfit was the scene where him and Nick went to the cinema and then like Ben and Harry showed up when they weren't meant to be there that scene so i've got black 
um, skinny jeans. These are actually jeggings, but I don't want any black jeans. Um, but either way, I think it'll work, you know. Um, vans, obviously, for shoes, because it's Charlie. I've got some black vans. Um, he's wearing, like, an orange jumper. The closest one I've got is this, like, knitted yellow jumper. So that's what I'm wearing. The converse are from, well, eBay, to be honest. The jeggings are from... I think H&M. Yeah, H&M. And this is from New Look. And then one final thing. He's got this, like, coat on. I think I've got one quite similar. Do you feel? Like, it's the same kind of pattern. I'm just looking at it now. It's not exactly the same. It's kind of got a similar pattern. It'll work. Do you know what I mean? Um, And this is from... It doesn't actually say, but I'm pretty sure I got it from Sheen or another thing like Sheen quite a long time ago. That It rings a bell to me that I got it. I definitely ordered it online, so it might have been Sheen like years ago. I've had it for a really long time. All right, so I thought I'd show you Charlie's outfit first without the jacket. I already feel like a complete embodiment of Charlie Spring. Got the jumper, got the jeans, got the converse. <laughs> I feel like I look like Charlie Spring, this is insane. Okay. Charlie Swing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I've done incredibly well. I look like Charlie Swing. By the way, I'm sorry about this angle. I know it's not very good. No, but actually, this is like really good, right? I look like Charlie Swing. This one, I'm. This one might be my favourite so far. Normally, I'm the second one, but I really look like it. Next is Tory Spring. Tory Spring is iconic. Absolutely iconic. Um, so first thing I actually have for Tory Spring is this. How could I not have a straw and a cup? It seems to be a whole bag. The outfit that I am going for for Tory is kind of a mix of different things. She's not in Heartstopper for very long, apart from like on the bus with Charlie, so she's in a school uniform. The bits where she's like in the background like talking to Charlie when Charlie's about to go to the cinema or when she throws something at him for playing the drums too loudly or I think it's like when she's like when they've just hugged as Nick was leaving and she pops up. It's like a mix of all those outfits um, so I've got something that I think will work. So I've got black leggings, simple. These are actually thermal leggings from Marks and Spencers. Then I've got this black hoodie, which is actually Mikey Cobbin merch um, from like a few years back, <laughs> like quite like two or three years ago. Um, but it's pretty much black, and then the pinkness of it will get covered up with the dressing gown. And then I'm just gonna put a pair of like fluffy socks on because I feel like apart from school, Tory Spring doesn't go out much, and she's got that cozy warm kind of vibe where she just wants to wear fluffy socks do you know what i mean i think it's worked sip <laughs> sip drink so i've got black leggings black hoodie dressing gown fluffy socks creaky floor what are you gonna do about it um <laughs> i mean do you know it's very warm and it is a very cold day, like my hands are numb, so I'm very glad about it. Also, do you like my new dressing gown? I got it for Christmas. It's so fluffy. This actually looks like that one where she's just like letting her to the door, she's like, hi, and turns like, Tori. Did she say something like, that was a long hug or something? Next is Isaac Henderson. I love Isaac so much, he's so funny and cute. Um, so. The inspo for Isaac's outfit is the scene where, come on brain work, they're all sat in someone's house, I can't think of whose house they're in. Hold on, let me look at the pictures. Might be, no, is it Tao's or Isaac's house? It says on air in like a red light. In all honesty, it could be anybody's room. Basically, the scene is Isaac says, come on, let's have a hug, and then Tao's like, fine, that one, that scene. Um, so, first I've got to give Isaac, just like Tori, he's iconic, so he's got to have a little accessory. He reads this, 
book in Charlie's birthday episode when they're in the bowling alley. He reads radio so as you can see it in his hand. I have all of Alice's books so it seemed fitting to put that as the little accessory. Okay, the outfit. In the thing he's got some blue baggy jeans on. Blue baggy jeans. Now, the jumper he's wearing, it's like different shades of like tan and brown. I don't have one like that but I do have just a brown hoodie. And it's got TPWK on it, treat people with kindness. It's like a Harry's merch but it's from Etsy and I do think that Isaac would like Harry Styles. So yeah. In the picture also he's got a, like a white collar. Like he's got like a top underneath. I don't own anything like that so I've just got this white collar insert which I actually bought for this jumper um, like a while back so I'll put that on underneath and then the jumper on top and it'll look like I've got a top on underneath. Isaac's shoes are just some like chunky white trainers though. They have got a platform but you know you get the vibe I think. The platform of the shoes makes me too tall <laughs> but this looks like the scene I've got this book do I like Isaac oh my god this is so cute the shoes are do you the shoes from Bershka I think but I got them online did I actually no I didn't I got the shoes from TK Maxx so cute! Although, I do think this could be my least favourite. It depends how the last outfit goes, but I think it was, could be my least favourite because where the jeans sit against the shoes, it doesn't look right and then it rumples all the jeans up. But I still like it. Okay, last but certainly not least is Sarah Nelson, the icon we love. Um. Okay, so for her outfit, the inspiration scene is the one where Nick says her dog died and then she goes, I'm oh, sorry, I don't get what you mean. <laughs> so in it, she's wearing like a blue blouse. I don't have a blue blouse technically. What I'm going to be using instead is this blue denim shirt button up thing. I think it'll work and give the same vibes. It does however mean that I'm going to be double deniming because I think she's got on some dark blue jeans so I'll be wearing these. Um, her accessories in this episode, this scene, um, she's just come back from shopping it looks like so she's got a tote bag and she's got, I just threw it, <laughs> she's got a handbag. It's a it's a brown leather handbag. Mine's a lighter colour tan version, hers is a dark brown. But it's close enough with what I've got, do you know what I mean? Okay, this one is hilarious to me. <laughs> I went for like some brogy shoes, you know? Got the handbag, the tote bag, she walks in. She's got this bag like this, and she goes to take this one off and put it down, and it's full of shopping. <laughs> it looks quite like the outfit, though. That's the thing. <laughs> Do I look like a mum going to get Nick from school? <laughs> Why do I find this so funny? I think I find it funny because it worked, didn't it? It does look like the outfit she's wearing. I have mum clothes. Do you know what though? Apart from it being freezing cold because it's all denim and I just find denim a very cold material. It's not a bad outfit. I mean it is double denim. If this wasn't denim and this was like an actual shirt material, I think I'd prefer it more. But my bags, I've got no issue with. I actually think they balance the outfit out. They give it a bit of other colour so that it's not all just double denim. It's just double denim, do you know what I mean? Like this, this helps a lot. <laughs> I'll speak to you again in a voiceover where I rank them. Hi, welcome to the ranking section of this video. Basically, what I'm going to do is go um, worst to best, so starting in five, working up to one. Fifth, unfortunately, is Sarah Nelson, just purely because it was a lot of du double denim, um, and I felt like weird that I owned like mum clothes. Then it was Isaac for me because the fit of the trousers, the jeans with those shoes just didn't work. 
but I really like the aesthetic overall. Um, then Tory Spring, loved the outfit, very warm, very nice, but couldn't go outside wearing it, do you know what I mean? I mean, underneath the dressing gown, and if you put shoes on, you could, but with that exact outfit, you couldn't. Then Nick Nelson, again, comfort levels were high, but I would feel more comfortable with Charlie being in first because I would really go out wearing Charlie's outfit. Like, I don't really go out wearing, like, joggers and stuff unless it's really, really cold. But Charlie's outfit just had a bit of, like, I don't know. It was just my favourite one. I liked the colours. I liked the aesthetic of it. It just was cool. I felt cool wearing it. I mean, I did with Nick's too. They're very close, Nick and Charlie, in first and second. Um, but I do think Charlie just takes it. Charlie's outfit just got it for me. So, yeah. Okay, I hope you enjoyed all that. Um, maybe it gave you some outfit ideas of how you could recreate some outfits. Honestly, I do dress like characters from things a lot because they give you good outfits, but truly, they do. Okay, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it very, very much. Although I was cold, I really enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and turn the post notification bell on if you want to see more videos like the part two of this video which i don't know when it will come but it will be coming soon i've also got some series that i'm working on um for my channel such as 24 20 which is doing 20 things before i turn 20 and some other just like little chatty videos that are, i'm so excited about but they're taking forever to edit because i can natter on for england so yes leave a comment down below with your favourite outfit if you think I did well you could rank the outfits in order if you wanted them to one being best five being worst and let me know your thoughts um so yeah thank you for watching I hope to see you again bye